Okay, so here we have uh, Cannondale. It's a green one. I've had this a little while. Um, long story short, I was riding this thing for the house move last year, and unfortunately, the suspension fork broke. Originally, it got stuck in the uh, bottomed out position. It was very smooth until it wasn't. <laughs> um, basically, is what happened. It was quite soft before that, so it used to bottom out quite a lot. Like red on 90s were the elastomer based version, essentially. Um, with plans to basically swap the lower blade for a better fork. That was my idea. Um, unfortunately, it's completely seized now and sitting behind the back of the shed. And, um, I mean, yeah, it was seized before, but now it's like rusty and seized, so that's not ideal. I didn't realise the water could literally just get in through the top cap as well. I mean, yeah, it's no ring here, but I'm pretty sure it's coming through the top. I don't see how it would come through here. I mean, yeah, there's a bit of rust, but I believe it's come down through the fork, through the bottom here, and that's what's caused the problem. So I need to find a new fork for my Canada, so I'll be searching eBay. I still want to try and save these lowers, though, because they're green and they match the bike, obviously. Um, I believe I can just swap these onto another fork. The actual, they actually look alright. It's the bits of, uh, I don't know, there is a bit of rust on there. That'll clean up. That I'm sure of, but at the minute it's completely stuck and I can't actually get it out. So if I can get it out, I can reuse them, but if not, we're screwed. It's just been sitting behind the shed for a... It's partly under cover as well, so I'm surprised water actually got in there. 